Oh, she looked creepy as hell in this photo. Why does she look like that? Happier Hold on, back up. Hold on, I rebuke D. I rebuke D. Get... All right. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Great minds think alike, my guy. Great minds think alike. Got it? Oh, what the hell? What's up, y'all? We're back at it. Part number two of L.A. Noir. The driver's seat. So we got here. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know... Man, show some freaking enthusiasm, man. ...jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. No mind if I do. If it's all right with you, That's sir. That's order, Phelps. Oh, okay. Phelps is one of only two My serving fault. LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm gonna start you out with one case. You do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. Patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find. <coughs> Come on, Phelps. Let's get it. Just say, so you know, my brother, you're gonna be driving because I ain't driving. I'm not driving at all, so I hope you got. Oh no, excellent, where are we going? This way. They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want I'm me to say? I'm just like it, what can I say? I ask for any favors. I'm just built like it, man. What'd you say, bitch? Oh, maybe you weren't talking to me. That's a cop. Well, leave him be. What are you, I just ran out the fucking door, bitch. You know what you're talking about? That shit, get your ass up and drive. You know the way. You can drive. Exactly. Get your ass up. You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Bukowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college at Stanford, did two years ROTC before Marine OCS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant, fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded, shipped back home, did a year on the beat, now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. 
No. You were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. Finished? The Emperor, Hirohito himself, leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. No, fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you've told me. Man, we get it, bro. Good job. Six years. You want a, you want a cookie for that? Good job. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. Is that you, Bukowski? I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives oh, are brother. here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right oh, thing. Oh, damn, that's a bloody mess. Man. Holy shit. I'm just a working stick. Just give me your story and you'll be all right. Calm down, my black brother. I ain't gonna hurt you, my boy. I'm actually, not alive, you colored folks. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. You don't know well, I got this, man. Just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. I'm gonna miss Stefan. Anyway, let's go. Hey, my black brother. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Gotcha. How long are you gonna keep me here, sir? Better get back to work, sir. We got going on over here. Okay, we got a pipe. Probably nothing. Okay. Some paper right here. Probably a letter or something. Let's open this up. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday. Hmm. Need to make some bacon, probably. All right, let's check inside. I'll just see if people show the clues right there. Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. Man, the way this man of blood right here, yeah. Wherever he at, that boy dead. I ain't gonna lie. Cause you ain't no way you losing that much blood and surviving to tell the tale. Oh, she look creepy as hell in this photo. Why she look like that? Happier Hold on, back up. Hold on, I rebuke thee. I rebuke thee and get you back up, back up, back up, back up. I rebuke thee. 32 years old, born in 1980. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Okay, see, now that's all. Check out these glasses. Stenzel. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Nice. Okay. I think there's a final one right here. A bloody pipe. Instate. Brand name might give us something to go on. Okay. See, that's it. <laughs> I thought there's anything all the way over here. Okay, maybe some talk to our black brother over here. I think that's all we got. Okay. My black brother. How you doing today, sir? Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. 
Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Okay, he's being real. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Okay, I believe him. I believe him. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights I don't ago, believe I don't believe in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regularly, so it kind of stood out. Okay, we go. We go. We good. Two check marks. by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, Mister? I'm asking you a question, my brother. Why are you Why are you doing that? See, I may have to accuse you now. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Okay, okay. We're doing good, we're doing good. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Okay, we did good. We nice. Help, Mr. Nice. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. You can spend as much time as I want, boy. Come here. You're done here. We'll head over there now. We can't talk going to, you to notify about. the wife. You seem to have it under control here. Yeah, I got this. All right, man. Yeah, you stay safe, man. What's up with you? Detective Phelps. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blood force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Well, we definitely in there, so all right, we go. We go. Let me check my location. You got any locations? The black residence. Let's go. All right, Bukowski, we out of here. Oh, don't worry. We definitely will. Bukowski, you know what to do. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. You go. I'm gonna make you do something, bro. You ain't finna just sit here and have a free little joyride. You finna do some type of work. You finna do something. Okay, we are black residents. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at the shoulder to cry on stuff. Gotcha. Just a minute. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Oh, I'm Margaret Black. We know you are, Mrs. Black. We know you are. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. 
I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. You know how this creepy is in the photos. Come on. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. I bet. Nothing. All right. What do you got in here? Anything in here? Cole, come on. Oh, what's in here? This must be Adrian's. Stenzel. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Okay. What we got over here? Is the picture? Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? That is a little interesting for a couple. Y'all would think y'all be in the same bed and you know. Hmm. Used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> What's over here? Cigarettes? <clears throat> Kavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Oh, wait, wait. Pick up, 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 pick up. Fair to investigate. What can we get out of there? Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Before we do that, anything else that I need to check out? What was that? I'm seeing it. The fuck is this? Yourself comfortable. So, your friend of Courtney's. Yes, Doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. That's a sinister smile, but I don't trust that. I don't trust that's a sinister smile. No, that's a and look at his face. I want to take you on a journey, a journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past, occasions that made you laugh, times that made you smile. That ain't creepy at all. That certainly ain't creepy at all. One at thirteen. Oh yeah, here's the phone right here. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge twelve forty-seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's Bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks for your help. Oh no, wait. What's this? Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. They quit ringing when I walk past it. Put that down. Okay, nothing here. 
I thought there was just nothing now. We're just, we're just picking shit up now. Anything else that I need to see? Let's go to the kitchen one more time. That then. What's over here? Oh, it's to eat. I'm glad I came back. I know how much I need $2 was back in the day, bro. That shit was expensive. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Let's go. <clears throat> Notice the front. Okay, let me see. They said it was about a... Hold on, we got a question out real quick. Oh, what is this? This doesn't pertain to the case. Oh, here's this. This is something. You're just leaving the thing half finished. Missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Well, mm. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. A little closer to home, huh? So this is maybe going back in the press, huh? Oh yeah, come here, sweetheart. We gotta talk to you. We gotta talk to you. Where you at? We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. Very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Mm. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. It looked terrible. Okay, invalid. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. I mean, I, I feel like she's still sincere. So nothing out of the usual, then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about 7. Okay, we're, we're still on a nice track. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. Mm. 
So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Okay, she seems to be being honest, okay? I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? What an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Um... Wait a minute. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I... I was here alone. I think I fucked up. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited. But he never came home. I didn't fuck up. Okay, nice. We're, we're straight. We're straight. Okay. Good, good, good. Alright. Now on to the next location. Can you drive to this one? No, you don't. No, you don't. Uh, yo! <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Great minds think alike, my guy. Great minds think alike. That you know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Appreciate it. Ah, uh, Mr. Frank Morgan. Morgan. Who's asking? I'm asking, Cole bitch. Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Tough break? You yeah. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. down there and you let black have it Ooh, i'm a bad boy that the best you got no i fucked up no no when did you last see i let that idiot because get to my head no, i don't know uh, i had plenty to drink last night things are a little sketchy bro, i don't like to just tell this i don't like this guy's tone of voice bro he's pissing me off can i just look at the clues Knowledge of Adrian Black. What do you say? I thought his eyes closed. I said, Why are your eyes closed? Fuck it, give me the intuition. If he was on his way to meet you when he went missing, you're gonna have to do a lot better than I don't recall. He had a couple and then left, I guess. Maybe he had to go meet someone. That's the best I can do. No! Add up, Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. No, I fucked up on both of those? Really? You want my opinion? We tell Morgan. 
I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. Oh my gosh, what did I? What could I have accused him with? I don't think I had nothing. I don't think I had nothing, really. He looks mad suspicious, though. I was doing so good too, then I fucked up. Oh my gosh. He sure left his drink in a hurry. Yeah, he did. I bet he wishes he'd rehearsed that story better now. Watch it, brother. Slow and steady. Oh, too watch close, it. Phelps. Way too close. Hey, man. I want to try and wreck the car. Okay, nice distance. So far, so good. Can you drive regularly? Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. Nigga, I'm right here. <gasps> oh my! Back off. You idiot. I'm a shame. We ain't spotted that much. Hey, watch it, bitch. Yo. And these people are so scripted, bro. Why y'all just coming out right now? Bro? Where are you, you taking us, Mr. Morgan? Man, like, can you stop? Where are we going? Easy, Cole. Better back it off. I know, I know. <clears throat> Let's check the place out. Come on. Day one of the big time, and you're already tailing drunks home from bars. You having fun yet? I told you it was non-stop glamour work. I'm just trying to learn. Oh, come on, Phelps. Save the creepy teacher's pet stuff in the area. Don't work on it. F. Morgan, he's in two. Apartment two. Mr. Morgan? All right. Let's pay our friend a visit. See if he's missed us yet. Okay. That's one. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's one. Two. Mr. Morgan, open up, brother. Who the hell is that? Will you relax? Jesus, Adrian, I told you, we're in the clear. I'll get it. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. It's over, Morgan. Mr. Black? LAPD! Give yourself up now! I knew it! Mm. Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Remember what y'all got going on, though? What y'all got going It's like a secret lover thing? Like... There's no point running, Adrian. I just want to talk with you, my brother. We ain't even... You ain't even no criminal. Whoa, what the fuck? Hold on, Adrian. Where you go, brother? Mr. Black, get back here right now. Stop right there, Adrian. It's over, Adrian. Oh, yeah, yeah, he upped it on him. Oh, shit, okay. Why did you need to get out of L.A. so fast, Adrian? Why the melodrama? I've met somebody in Seattle. She means everything to me. We were going to start a new life together. Looks like she'll have to wait for you. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the D.A. has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. 
You're going to the big house, Adrian. And when your wife finds out, you're going to lose her, too. I hope this broad was worth it. Dang, that's crazy. All this of a... Why can't you just be loyal, my bro? Why couldn't you just be loyal, man? That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here. You could go a long way in this. Man, department. this nigga Bukowski came he set me up, bro. I was doing so good, and then I failed. Crap. Ah, I was almost perfect. Look at that. Well, I missed two clues. Where? No oh, shit. All right, man. That's gonna do it for this video. Hope you. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed that video. I told you. I think I'm gonna do each video. Each case is gonna be once per video. Cause this one case is already like at 35 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and end it off right here. Hope y'all enjoyed it. That like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'm gonna catch you in the third part.